this scatter plot displays a negative association and linear relationship between the two variables. The first one locates on the x-axis, or we should call that the horizontal axis, that is number of absences. The second variable locates on the vertical axis, the y-axis, that is exam score. So which one is explanatory? The answer is the one located on the horizontal axis. So for explanatory variable, we have number of absences. And then what about response? That is exam score, right? So, And then I have more questions for you. The first one is how many students have four absences? So that is x equals to 4. So follow my highlighter, x equals to 4. So that is right over here. So the answer is one student has four absences. So the answer is 1. All right. How about at most 4? What is at most? At most means the maximum is equals to 4. It can be 3. It can be 2. It can be 1. It can be 0. Again, at most 4 means the maximum is equals to 4. It can be any number less than 4, including 3, 2, 1, 0. So 4 absences, follow my highlighter, 4 absences is over here, right? So that is 4 absences. And since we have to include all the numbers less than 4, so that means we have to include this as well. So how many dots are included? So just count, including the 4. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So 11 dots. So the answer is 11. So let's get rid of the mark. So this is 11 students. I will just use my red pen. So 11 students. And then how about at least 7 absences? That means the maximum is 7. Right? At least, oh, at least 7. Sorry, the minimum is 7, and what else? At least 7. The minimum is 7, and it can be any number more than 7. So in this picture, at least 7 is right here, right? So this is 7, and then you are looking for 7 or above. So that includes 7, 8, and 9. So we have to include this, this piece. So how many dots do we have? We have... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The answer is 5 students. Let's get rid of the mark. So the answer is 5. What about just greater than? No at least. Greater than means more than 7, but do not include 7. Because 7 itself is not greater than 7, right? So greater than 7, then we have 8 and 9. So the answer is 3 students. And then how about less than three absences? Less than three. So we do not count the three then. So less than three, then we count the two absences, one absence and no absence. All right, do not count the three. So that will be these dots. So do not count the three. So how many do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there are eight dots. So the answer is eight. Let's get rid of the mark. So this is 8. How about exactly 5? So exactly 5, then we are looking for x equals to 5. So right over there, how many dots? We have exactly 5 dots. So the answer is 5. Okay, more questions to go. How many people have exactly 100 points? Exactly 100 points. So that will be y equals to 100 so y equals to 100 is right over there so that is three students one two three three dots right so three students they have exactly 100 points on the test and then how about less than 80 points so less than 80 points wow we got a lot to count so that doesn't include 80 right so less than 80 points so we do not count the 80 then we have to count all of this do not include the 80, less than 80 points. Then let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So the answer is 14 students. So we write 14 students. They score less than 80 points. How about at most 80 points? So at most 80 points means 80 points is 
the maximum, right? And it can be anything less than 80. So where is 80? So since we have to include the 80, then we have to include the 80 points as well. So that will be this. So less than 80, we have 14 people, right? So if you include two additional points, then that will be 16. 14 plus 2 plus this one and this one. So let's count. And anyway, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So 16 people, they score at most 80 points. The maximum is 80. It can be any number less than 80. All right, so let's put this down. 16. All right, so that just answer all the questions. If you think my instruction is helpful, let me know in the comment below. Like the video, share the video for me, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. I appreciate your help and support. See you all in the next one. Signing off for now.